Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Q Familia. We recently bought a handheld sewing machine from Amazon and it was only $27 with tax and it's made in China. This machine is available in four colors, red, orange, green, and blue. We ordered the machine in red. It also comes with a lot of things like nine bobbins with thread, inch tape, safety pins, and then it also comes with the actual machine. It comes with a needle threader, a spindle, two extra needles, and finally an instruction booklet. Let's have a look at the machine and how it works. When we opened the machine, it was ready for use. The bobbin was in its place and the needle was already attached to the machine too. The machine looks kind of like a stapler and now we're going to try it out. So we had to add four AA batteries, but it didn't come with a package. We had to use our own. Before sewing, you have to make sure that the thread is on top and not stuck on the bottom. When setting up the machine, you have to do five steps. First, you have to put the bobbin in its place, and then you have to take the thread and put it through the small hole on top of the machine. Then you have to twist it on the knob, and there's a hook inside the machine that you have to take it through. And then you have to finally put it inside the needle from the back, so it comes out in the front and it stays on the top. And the button on the top locks and unlocks the machine to keep everything safe. The same button also starts the machine so we can use it. The rotary wheel allows us to move the needle up and down and if it's up then it allows us to move the fastening plate up and down too so we can put the fabric inside of it. Now we're about to test the machine so we're going to move the fastening plate up and insert the fabric. Let's have a look at all of the accessories I told you about before. Now we're going to use a needle threader to bring the thread to the front. Make sure before stitching that the placement of your thread is like shown. Now we're using the rotary wheel to bring the needle down so it can be fastened into the fabric and when it comes down you'll hear a sound. Now it's finally ready for sewing. Look at how amazing and perfect the stitching is. The one problem about this machine is that it will only stitch from left to right and you won't be able to get it to go to in any other directions. Now we need to bring the fabric out, so we're once again using the rotary wheel to bring the needle up so we can take the fabric out. As we're showing you right now, we're pulling the stitches and they're not opening, so they're very strong and firm from both sides. Here's a close-up view of the stitches from both sides. We're just showing you once again how to properly place a thread before you start sewing. The reason we bought this machine was to fix the comforter cover that we had because it was too big when we bought it and it didn't fit our comforter. When we asked the alteration shop how much they would cost us to fix this, they told us they would cost us $20. So instead of paying $20, we decided to buy a machine for just $27. And it would also help us in the future for other issues. See how much bigger the cover is from the actual comforter. So the first thing that we did was that we took the cover off. After this, we cut off the extra piece of the fabric and then we started sewing it. As I told you before, the direction of the machine only goes from left to right.
This machine is good for all types of fabric like denim, silk, crafts and drapes. Here we ran out of thread so we put on a new bobbin. After putting on the bobbin, we took the thread and we passed it through the wire hole and then we twisted around the tension control and then we passed it through the hook in the bottom and then we passed it through the needle. Putting the thread through the needle is kind of tricky because we have to make sure that when the thread comes out, it comes out in the front and not doesn't go to the bottom. To make the stitches stronger, we double stitched it and went over the previous stitches again. My siblings and I had a lot of fun using this fast and easy sewing machine as it was really easy to control. Now we turned the comforter cover upside down and we're placing the comforter inside of the cover. This machine is so lightweight that you can always travel with it anywhere you go so if you ever need it, you will have it. We showed you how the cover looked like before we started sewing it and now we're showing you how it looks now and as you can see the stitches were so amazing and the comforter fits the cover perfectly now. I hope you like this machine review, we'll put the link of the machine in the description and you can check it out. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe and share, bye!